happy to greet you, everyone, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Lord. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is Alpha and Omega. He is the first and the last. He which was, is, and is to come, the Almighty God. And we just thank him for this opportunity just to come where you are, to be together as a body of believers in Christ Jesus. We thank God, hallelujah, for every day that he gives us. Every new day is a blessing. Hallelujah. Every new day is an opportunity to get it right. Every new day that he gives to us. Amen. Hallelujah. We give it back to him. Amen. Milton Brunson. In the, in, the, in the Thompson community singers used to sing this song, Lord, I'm available to you. My will I give to you. I'll do what you say. Do use me, Lord, to show someone to what the way and enabled me to say my storage is empty. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I am available to you. What you saying, Pastor? I'm saying every new day God give you. Amen. It's a empty day. Hallelujah. And you can fill it up as you will. Hallelujah. Fill it with love. Fill it with joy. Fill it with peace. Fill it with contentment in God. Hallelujah. I know we're going through. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But don't forget, God is on your side. Hallelujah. Don't forget, you have a Savior. You have a deliverer. You have a way maker who will make ways out of no way, who will open doors that seemly close. That's what we're talking about today. Amen. Enduring hardness, even though the times are hard, the going is rough. Hallelujah. And so we need to, as God's people, amen, rely and depend on Jesus Christ. He's not just a house that you go to on Sunday between 11 and 2. Amen. It's not just somebody to call on. Amen. Like the fireman when the house is burning. Amen. And where there's a civic issue, we call the police. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't call him unless we need him. Amen. Hallelujah. We can call him. Hey, Albertina Walker sings a song. I can call him when I need him. Father, Father up in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. But he is there whenever. Hallelujah. We need him. And he's still there. Hallelujah. When we think, when we think everything is all right. Hallelujah. For when man say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. Hallelujah. And so we are going through some tough times and some hard times. If it wasn't for this virus, it would be something else. Amen. Hallelujah. People was going through before the virus and people will be going through after. And so the Lord shared with me to share with you today to endure that hardness. Amen. Hallelujah. Endure this hardness as a good soldier. Hallelujah. And in the words of Hezekiah Walker, I'll make it. Hallelujah. You're going to make it today. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah. We're going to make it today. Hallelujah. He says, sink or swim, swim or die. Hallelujah. I'm going to make it. For when this earthly house of this tabernacle would have dissolved, I got another building that made by hand, but eternal in the heaven. So no matter what happens, hallelujah. Amen. My life is in his hands. Hallelujah. I, I, no matter what happens, hallelujah, amen, we, we we show forth the praises of him who brought us out of darkness into this marvelous light. So we're going to go to 2 Timothy, amen, hallelujah, the second chapter. We'll be reading from the first through the fourth verses. I'm going to jump down to the 11th uh, through 13 verses, amen, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. He said, therefore, thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, Hallelujah. There's no grace in man. We under the dis dispensation of grace theologically. Amen. Hallelujah. The seven dispensations, uh, which is a great teaching and a great lesson to learn. Amen. What God has, how God was working with his people during, during the segments of time. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, but that grace is in Christ Jesus and not in us. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we can be merciless. Amen. Hallelujah. But be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. In other words, amen, don't allow the evil, amen, and the in the in the in the storm and the stress and the distress that's coming against you. Don't respond. Amen. Don't give evil for evil. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. Amen. Hallelujah. We pray for them. Amen. Hallelujah. We pray for them. Amen. We pray for them that perse persecute us. Amen. Hallelujah. We love them that hate us. Hallelujah. Because we are of the people of God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So we love them that hate us. So be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. 
Amen. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses. Hallelujah. The same commit thou to faithful men or women. Amen. Who shall be able to teach others also. Committed to those that, 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 that are available. Amen. And they are ready. Hallelujah. To hear. As everybody's not going to hear. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Everybody's not going to receive you. Everybody is not going to have faith during this crisis. Amen. Some people are going to take for Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Some not. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody going to look to Jesus. Some are not. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But what we have and what we've seen God do. Uh, God, hallelujah. Take this testimony. Uh, that you see me go through and the things God has done by by his power through me. Amen. His manservant. Hallelujah. Amen. Committed. Testify. Tell him. Tell somebody about. Amen. The power of God. Amen. And the things that you sing and heard God do. Not just in scripture. Amen. Hallelujah. I got some testimonies that's outside of the Bible. I've seen God do some things. I've seen people filled with the Holy Ghost. I've seen people healed. Amen. Hallelujah. I've seen demons cast out. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's share the testimony. Amen. Hallelujah. Of what God has done. Amen. And share it. Amen. With the people that will hear it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we commit that to faithful people. Amen. That they may share the good news of Jesus Christ. We might we may share what God has done for us. Amen. The people don't hear that today. That's why the belief in the, the hearts of men have failed and the faith have gone down because people don't share what God has done for them. Amen. By their testimony shall overcome. They overcame by the blood of the lamb and the, and the testimony. Hallelujah. Amen. By their testimony. And so we as God's people, amen, tell somebody, share somebody, share with somebody, teach somebody. Hallelujah. If they're, if they're, if they're willing to learn, hallelujah, teach them, sit them down. Hallelujah. Do you have Bible class? Maybe in your Bible class. You might have weekly Bible class in your home, and I suggest you do it. Amen. Hallelujah. We have our, amen, conference line, and we're going to, amen, get started up, and we're going to have our prayer on Monday night. Amen. You might have your conference line. Amen. Hallelujah. Your prayer line where you talk to people, amen, and share with people, and y'all pray together, and y'all talk about it, amen, in the name of Jesus. They may ask you some questions and share even more. If they want to learn a course of study, some of y'all are apt to teach, amen, hallelujah, amen. And so, amen, uh, share that information and all that knowledge that you have. Share it with somebody, amen, and let them hear what thus saith the Lord. Amen. I'm grateful to the, the many teachers and mentors that I had through scripture. Amen. Through the Bible. Amen. Even life lessons. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And understanding people. Well, I took that book, the ETA courses, and we're going to start those up again. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, so that we can teach others. Amen. And share uh, the power of God, the word of God. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. So when we share the word of God, we're really sharing God. Amen. And in a practical aspect, not just some, amen, uh, some wind, amen, or the wave, no, something way out in the air and some something way up in heaven. No, this is practical knowledge of what God did on earth. The Old Testament, the Old Covenant, hallelujah, and the New Covenant, in the New Testament. This is God doing and he's still doing it. Hallelujah. He's still working. He's still blessing. He's still moving. I got a testimony. Uh, when I was down and out, Jesus brought me out. I got a reason to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So what we've heard and what we've seen, amen. It, didn't that what, what John say? What, this, this is not something I read out of a book. We have seen with our eyes. We've heard with our ears. Hallelujah. We give testimony to what has happened to us. And we're sharing that to you. And so Paul said that to Timothy, but all the disciples did that. They shared, amen, what God did for them and the story of Jesus Christ, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus, the good news, the gospel. They shared it with others also. So share Christ. Share God with somebody. Uh, they need him now more than ever. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, key verse, the third verse, Second Timothy, second chapter, third verse says, Thou therefore endure hardness. That's the subject today, endure hardness. As a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Endure this thing. Work through it. Amen. Hallelujah. Let God work in you. Hallelujah. One Take one day at a time. Hallelujah. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and, and when you get to tomorrow, work on tomorrow. Amen. The word endure is a verb, which means suffer. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Something's pa painful. Suffering, something's painful or difficult. Amen. Hallelujah. To suffer patiently. Wait, I say on the Lord and be of good courage. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And he shall strengthen our heart. Wait, I say. Hallelujah. On the Lord. Amen. The second definition means to remain in existence, to last. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to make it through. We want to make it through this hard time. Amen. And prepare us for whatever's coming behind that. Amen. Hallelujah. We make it through this in faith. Just 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 know what God's going to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. With us, with the next trial and tribulation, next challenge that come along. Amen. Hallelujah. As a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Amen. How many of us are true soldiers of Jesus Christ? How many of us of us have, have commit our way unto the Lord? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of us have studied to show ourselves approved unto God? A workman that did not be ashamed, right? You're dividing the word of truth. Amen. Hallelujah. The, the good soldier have mastered the training. The good soldier, amen, hallelujah, have went through all the curriculum and knowledge and understanding of things, the enemy, the, 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 the ways of the enemy, the, the, uh, the rifles and the, the, the planes that they fly with, the cars that they drive, the tanks that, that they use, amen. A good soldier knows, amen, how to fight against the enemy, hallelujah, amen. So endure this hardness is going to toughen us up. Lord Jesus, I don't know what's coming, hallelujah, but this is toughening us up, amen, for what's coming down the road, amen, is getting the church ready, hallelujah, believers, get ready, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand in the evil day, and have it done all to stand, stand therefore, hallelujah, amen, so we have to endure, endure this, to prepare us for what's coming, Amen. Hallelujah. For no man worth, amen, entangling himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. Amen. Hallelujah. When you go and get training, it's not about where you're from. They ask you, where you're from, boy, where you're from. And you say, well, Kansas, ain't nobody on Kansas. Amen. And they say some stuff about Kansas to let you know that it's not about Kansas and not about who you are. It's not about, amen, what you've done. It's all about what I'm here to do, to train you, to get you prepared for what's coming. Hallelujah. Amen. So they're going to make your life hard intentionally. They're going to call you some things outside of your name, outside of your home, your family, and everything. They're going to they're gonna say some things to get you to focus on, amen, getting as strong and as, as disciplined as you possibly can. And it's far past, knowing the time, it is high time that we wake up out of sleep. It's far past the time for us as believers, amen, hallelujah, to become good soldiers of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Not good churchgoers, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Not good believers, but good soldiers of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. To endure the hardness, we have to be good soldiers, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I said to endure the hardness, we have to become good soldiers, Hallelujah. You have them jumping over, amen, the ropes and they're jumping over the wall and climbing the rope and you have them doing different things and crawling under the nets and doing a lot of different things, amen. And you see some go through it real well and some don't quite make it, amen. Hallelujah, amen. The good soldier, amen, can persevere. Hallelujah, persevere. To persevere means to go despite obstacles being placed in your path, amen. Hallelujah. The devil desire to have you and to sift you as weak. Hallelujah. He wants you to go back he wants you to quit hallelujah but it, it, unlike the army hallelujah god has a purpose for every soldier hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah you can't make it son no go back home you can't make it young lady go home you're not ready to be in this man's army you're not ready to you're not a marine hallelujah you're not a navy man you're not a seal hallelujah but god has amen a purpose for everyone that comes into this world he has a divine purpose for you hallelujah hallelujah be that good soldier be that person that he he has designated for you hallelujah walk worthy in the uh, work worthy in the uh, with the, with the call amen hallelujah amen wherewith you've been called know that god has called you for his divine will and purpose according to his divine will and purpose amen for a purpose here in the earth realm Hallelujah. And he needs you to do this job. He, he birthed you to do this job. 
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. That's what we put in our 2020 statement of faith. If you want that, amen, I'll send it to you. Ask for it. I'll give it to you. Amen. Hallelujah. If I can get it, I'll put it on here right now. Amen. Don't forget that 2020 statement of faith. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to I want to walk in the way that you, you've, you've birthed me. Hallelujah. To be that. I'm in here for a reason. Hallelujah. I'm here for a reason. Amen. Hallelujah. Walk in the, in the purpose God has placed you for you. God is sovereign. And we believe that he's all powerful. He's all knowing. Hallelujah. He's never wrong. He never make a mistake. He can't lie. He can't change. Then you're not a lie. Hallelujah. Thank you. Chief. You're not a lie. Hallelujah. Amen. He, he created you for his divine will and purpose. Uh, and he's given you every tool that you need to be successful. In, in in the walk wherein he has laid before you, the path that he set before you, that's in the statement of faith as well. Hallelujah. Amen. The 11th verse says, it is a faithful saying. For if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. Not saying that God don't exist, not Amen. Hallelujah. Singing Jesus every time you meet somebody, you say you need the Holy Ghost. And that's not denying him. Denying him, amen, hallelujah, is not allowing the spirit to rule in your life. As when God says something to you, you don't say it. When the spirit is saying something to you and you know that it is the Lord that's talking to you and you don't do what the Lord say do, you denying him. You're denying the chance for him to use you as his vessel, as his instrument. Here in the earth realm, you're denying it. God is saying he told me to do that. How, did, how many times have we said that? He told, I know the Lord, he was saying, do it, call you. The Lord told, and I didn't call you. Then you find out later on something had happened traumatic in their life or something was about to happen. And had you called and had you did what the Lord said, hallelujah, it would have been a better situation. Hallelujah, amen. So if you deny him, he going to also deny us. If we believe not, yet, hallelujah, he abideth faithful. If we don't do it, he's there. If these shall hold their peace, the rock shall cry out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He cannot. I love I just love this scripture. Hallelujah. He cannot deny himself. Hallelujah. He can't be nothing else but God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He is God. And Fred sings the song, and that's just the way it is. Hallelujah. So good to know. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Even when we don't step up and we're not, amen, faithful to him, he is faithful to us. Hallelujah. Yet he abideth faithfully. Hallelujah, the sun comes up in the morning. Hallelujah, sets in the evening. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Whether we have a good day or bad day, God is in his holy temple. Hallelujah, God is working a work. God is God. And we praise and magnify and lift up the name of Jesus. If I make my bed in hell, you're there. If I take the wings of the morning and fly to the utmost, you're there, God. God is about his business. God is, amen, on the watch. God, amen, is Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. He which was, is, and is, is to come. Hallelujah. El Shaddai, the almighty God. God is faithful to himself. He abideth faithful. Hallelujah. He cannot deny himself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So endure the hardness as a good soldier. Having done all to stand, stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But principalities, spiritual wickedness in high places, that's what we do as good soldiers. We're ready to encounter the enemy. That's what we do as a good soldier. What are you going to do about that? Hallelujah. What are you going to do about that, believer in Christ Jesus? What I'm going to do, I've already been prepared. I know to trust God. I know to believe on God. Let's, let's, let's have prayer. Hallelujah. Let's have Bible class. Hallelujah. You need to be baptized in the name of Jesus. I know y'all scared of the water right now. Hallelujah. You need to be baptized in the name of Jesus. You need to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. The believers in Christ. Y'all might not like this. Hallelujah. Amen. But the Lord often give me stuff that people don't like. Hallelujah. Amen. But it's all right. Amen. I, ha I, must, I must work the work that he's given to me. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We must, as believers in Christ Jesus, act as if Christ is coming back tomorrow and today is the last day on earth. 
Hallelujah. What, how, how would we act if Christ was coming 9 o'clock, amen, tomorrow morning? How would we act? How would we act? Who would we call to make sure and see if their soul is right with God? Who would we call to comfort? Who we give our, I ain't saying get away your cars and your house now. Don't, don't, don't make past it. Don't get past it in trouble. Please don't get past it in trouble. But how would you act if you knew that Jesus was coming back? Pastor, you said if anybody give you your date, it's wrong. You're right. Absolutely. Absolutely. It is the wrong date. But that does not mean we can uh, live our lives as if Jesus Christ will never come back again. Or we won't die. We won't leave this place. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Either we're going to him or he's coming to us. Either he's going to crack the sky or they're going to crack some dirt. Amen. Hallelujah. And put us in it. Like the young man asked his grandfather. He said, Granddaddy, where do you go when you die? He said, in the ground. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of That's the physical body. But when this earthly house of this tabernacle would have dissolved, we have another building that made by hand, but eternal. In the heaven, the Bible says at death, the spirit returned to the creator that sent it. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we owe God. He's he is the, the breath of the almighty. We love these scriptures. Job, the breath of the almighty has given me life. We love those scriptures, but we also have an obligation to God. As as children of God to endure hardness. Yes, but to also. Understand the fact that when at the, after death, the judgment, we're gonna see we're gonna see the Lord one day. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. If we don't see the rapture, we're gonna see the Lord one the, one way or the other. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that He's Lord. Every eye shall see Him. And so we 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 owe God. We we thank Him for our life and breath and strength. We say it all the time. I like to thank the Lord for my. We testify about it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But do we really understand and recognize the fact that we are here by his grace and by his love and by his mercy and also by his assignment? And he has assignments for all of us, every soldier. When that soldier is trained, they can go on missions and do certain things. Hallelujah. They do maneuvers. They're practicing for, for war. So if war show up, they know how to act when war comes. And so good soldiers shouldn't be walking in fear and spreading fear. Good soldiers, hallelujah, hallelujah, should be galvanizing the people of God and representing the kingdom in heaven itself. Hallelujah, amen, hallelujah. Just because you may be afraid, that doesn't mean you're walking in fear. Hallelujah, amen. There are two different things. No, nobody wants to, well, some people don't want to die. And certainly not by this virus or anything else. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If I perish, I perish. I'm going to see the king. But in the meantime, have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Have you repented of your sins and been baptized in his name? And the Bible declares that you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In the meantime, can I have prayer with you? Is it all right? We do a conference call and bring the family in every day. Can I have prayer with y'all at four o'clock every day? If y'all don't mind or during the week, Monday through Friday or pick one day a week. That's too much. I don't need that. Do OK, how about every Wednesday at four o'clock? Can I have prayer with your family? If it's all right, you just put them all on speaker. And if you don't mind, write down a list of your prayer requests or anything you might need. I'm, uh, I have a, I'm in touch with Pastor Fields. He have a noonday prayer. Y'all can call that at noonday every uh, Tuesday through Friday and have prayer. So we can pray together. Somebody called. I called someone yesterday checking on them. And they said, well, my family, we having a, uh, a, a, a vigil. Amen. We having uh, prayer and fasting uh, for three days. I think he said three, four days. Amen. Hallelujah. So we praying before God. Uh, the people laying out before God. And praying for the end of this coronavirus, for deliverance and for healing. That's a great thing. That's a great thing. That's what soldiers do. Endure. A soldier of Jesus Christ is going to endure. What would Jesus do? That's what we do as soldiers of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Endure that hardness. Stand up and be a believer. Stand up and be a Christian. Help somebody if you can. 
If you can't, if you're in pass, I'm in need. I got laid off. I don't have any more money coming in. I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. I just don't know. They say they got a stimulus. It'll be here next week. They said that a week ago. Hallelujah, hallelujah. They said that two weeks ago that it'll be here next week. And now they say it's going to be here in, in, a, in two weeks. Amen. And that was a month ago. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. So, Pastor, I don't know what's, what's going to happen. Amen. But put your trust in God. He cannot deny Himself, man, I feel, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. If you don't get anything I said and has ever said, get that part. 2 Timothy 2, 13. He cannot be anything but God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He cannot deny himself. He is the self-existing one. Hallelujah. I am that I am. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Who shall I say sent me? Tell him I am that I am the self-existing one. Hallelujah. We try to put names and labels, human labels and names to it and get mad if people don't say it. Hallelujah. If you say Yahweh, if you say Jehovah, if you say God, hallelujah. if you say the creator, you're talking about the same guy. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Be a good soldier. Know who he is. Know who you are. Know the ability that's down in you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Believe on me as the scriptures have said, and out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Be a good soldier. Soldier up. Stand at attention. Be seen and be heard as a believer in Jesus Christ. They need Christ today. They need the power of God today. They need you to be a good soldier. Endure this hardness. He won't deny us because he can't deny himself. So that means if we're of him, hallelujah, we can't be denied. You got that? You get that, soldier? Hallelujah. If we're of God and God can't deny himself, we cannot be denied. Jesus, that's powerful right there. Hallelujah. That's powerful. Not because I said it, because he said it. You can't be denied. Stand on his word. Stand on his truth. Help somebody to Christ. Help somebody to Jesus. This is a great time for evangelism. This is a great time to reach out and share the love of Jesus Christ. You see a lot of people doing great things, and that's a blessing. You see some people doing some horrible things as well. You got more taller people than you can ever use in your life. You have more potato chips or beans. You buy a whole bunch of stuff that you're not even going to need. Hallelujah. And denying people that need. And poor mothers need wipes for their babies and they don't have them. Because we've taken every wipes off the shelf. we wiped the shelves with them. And taking them off the shelves. And people need uh, bathroom tissue and paper towels in their home. They can't get them. Because somebody has more than they can use in their house. Next couple of months this thing will be over. And you have all that stuff. And the stores are rejected in there. And I don't blame them. We will reject that we can't receive anything coming from your house. That's not sanitary. And even the ones that did before. Hallelujah. They're saying, no, we're not going to receive anything back. So we're going to get it fresh and new stuff. So we thank God. New vision, new, new, new purpose. Fresh anointing. Delivering power of God. That's what we need. So endure hardness as a good soldier. Stand up for Jesus and stand in his place. We are Christ's representatives. We are kings and ambassadors to Christ. And share the love of Jesus Christ with somebody today. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We glorify your name. We thank you for being our God, the creator of the universe, the creator of man. You breathed into us the breath of life and we became a living soul. We thank you for sending Jesus Christ as our perfect example of a soldier. My meat is to do the will of my father and to finish his work. We thank you, Lord God, for Jesus Christ who preached the gospel, healed the sick, raised the dead. Hallelujah. And Lord God, greater work shall we do because he went back to you, God. And we praise and magnify your holy name. And in this hard time, Help us endure this hardness as a good soldier. I believe I'll make it. Matter of fact, I go one further. I know I'm going to make it. 
My life is in your hands. And we thank God our lives is in your hands and we're going to make it through this. Stand together as believers in Christ Jesus. We're two or three gathered together in your name, Lord. You said you right there in the midst. So we thank you for being our God. We thank you for sending Christ to die for the sins of the world. And we thank you that we don't have to be where we are. If any man be in Christ, is a new creature. Old things have passed away. All things have become new. Bless those that are in hospitals and prison wars, institutions. Lord God, bless all your people everywhere. We pray for the families of the bereaved, the bereaved families all over the world. They're lost family members to this virus or anything else. They've lost their lives and they're, they're, they are grieving right now. And we ask for your divine hand upon your people. Cover and comfort your people, Lord. Hear the cry of your people by reason of their taskmasters. You know their sorrows. You know what we're going through. Bless us now. We speak your healing virtue over your people. Lord God, hallelujah. Move, touch, and deliver. Make a way out of nowhere. Open doors that seem closed. Bless this house. Bless this ministry. Bless your servant, Lord God, to stand in this evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore. Help me to share and to speak, forever speak what you've given to me to speak to your people. And let them receive it. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And grow thereby. He that have an ear, ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church today. Help the pastors and leaders and those that have resources to help their community. Let them do so. Help the landlords that can let them, amen, hallelujah, stay in their apartments and wherever they're staying in the homes, Lord God. Amen, hallelujah. And, and help them to be able to make it through this storm. And those that can't do it and have to because they're being pushed, amen, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. You make a way out of no way, Lord Jesus. There's a lot of things that look uh, suspect right now, God. You are the way out of no way. Hallelujah. We speak your blessings over your people. We don't know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. As King Jehoshaphat said, Lord, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. Show us, Lord God. Tell us what to do. Bless, touch, and deliver right now. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus' name I pray. Bless the doctors, the nurses, all those out on the front lines, delivery people that are going into houses. They tell everybody else to stay home. But the delivery people going everywhere, the police, firemen, wherever, those people that are out in public and out on the front lines of this situation, Lord God, bless, touch, and deliver right now. These and all blessed we ask in Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen, 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 and amen. God bless you, family. Love you in Jesus' name. Be a soldier today. Stand up. Amen for Jesus. Stand up with Jesus and stand up and represent Jesus. You know the different uh, segments. You have military uh, in the military. You have the Army, Navy, Marines, Coast Guards, uh, Air Force. You have different ones. And you know them, amen, hallelujah, because of their uniform and the labels and amen, the names, amen, hallelujah. So uh, let the soldiers of Christ be stand up and be recognized. Hallelujah. Endure this hardness because you are a soldier, the private, the buck private, the, the civilian can't stand it. That's why they're civilians. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But the soldier can withstand it. Matter of fact, they, they can survive. Matter of fact, they can thrive in this situation because they've been properly trained to overcome it with the help of the Lord. I love what Joshua and Caleb, they had a different spirit. They came back. Yes, we saw them. They are bigger than us. Yes, they have chariots and metal chariots. They riding on, amen. They have horses and chariots. We we on foot. Hallelujah. We got bows and arrows. Hallelujah. We have in slings. We have nothing compared to them. Hallelujah. The walls are great and thick. Hallelujah. Yes, I saw everything everybody else said. Uh, they saw. Hallelujah. But the God, with the help of the Lord, we can overcome it. Ah, God, thank you. Hallelujah. And I say that to you. With the help of the Lord, we can overcome it. We ain't going to overcome it. We can't make it without him. Hallelujah. So we got to make it with him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And do a hardness as a good soldier. And be the soldier of Christ that he needs you to be in these last and evil days. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. God bless you. End of the week, we praise you. And we praise God. We thank God for you and everybody that stuck with us this week. Amen. Tuesday through Friday, noonday prayer. Wednesday night, Bible class. 
Amen. Sunday morning, 10 o'clock is our worship service. We still having service. Amen. Y'all can we online or amen online. Hallelujah. They're saying no to gatherings. Amen. So we are saying the same thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So um, keep us in prayer and keep all the ministries and everybody in prayer. The churches are suffering too. Amen. Especially those that are month to month. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the rent policy and leases and all that. Amen. The suspect right now, especially big buildings. Amen. And 80 percent. Let me tell you all now. I'm a pastor. I'm going to tell you what I know. Hallelujah. These other pastors, y'all can chime in if you want. Hallelujah. Amen. There's about 80 percent of, of Christians. Amen. Bring their money. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to tell y'all now. Amen. About 80 percent of Christians bring their money. Amen. How about 20 percent send their money. They they can they will send it. They'll give over. Amen. A different. They can mail it. They'll mail the check in. They, they'll do their church envelope and put it in, put the money in or send it or or have it uh, about one percent do direct deposit out of their out of their account. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're grateful for them that they faithfully give out of their account. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And so continue to bless the houses of God. Amen. A bless continue to bless Agape. Amen. I'm grateful for all those that still been paying their tithes. Amen. Hallelujah. And offerings even during um, this 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 crisis. So I'm grateful for all those that have been helping us here at Agape. Amen. And the sustainers, all those that have been given to the church. Amen. So continue to do that. Continue to bless the house of God. Because the more you do, the more we're able to do as a church. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, amen. And so we, we have a financial requirement. Amen. It's due Monday. Amen. And all that can help. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Appreciate it. In the name of Jesus. And plus, we also know other families that, that need help as well. And we can do that if Amen. We're able to do it. Amen. So be a blessing to God's house. Be a blessing to God's people. Bless the house of God. Bless your church, your pastor. Amen. If you your pastor used to a salary and the church is not receiving money and they, you know, they'll probably put that money toward bills. So even the pastor might not be receiving anything. So this would be a good time to send the pastor something. Amen. If nothing but a card or some flowers or whatever the case may be. Amen. So just give him a call and give them, give him or her a call and a word of encouragement. Let's help each other. Let's circle the wagons a little bit. Since we can't go nowhere, circle the wagons and start calling people. Amen. Love you guys. Thank God for you. I'll close in scripture. First Timothy, first chapter 17, verse now to the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God be honor and glory forever and ever. Let the church say, Amen. Show someone the unconditional love of God. But that is the agape way. God bless you, family. Love you in Jesus' name. And I'll see you guys next time. God bless you. Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Boudinot Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.